Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your tutor, Disha. Today, I'll be describing how nitrogen is cycled within an ecosystem. Stay tuned. Nitrogen, the most abundant gaseous element. As a matter of fact, it makes up 78% of our atmosphere. And nitrogen is also ubiquitous in many living things. Yes, like plants and animals. Nitrogen, in its elemental form seen here, is diatomic, meaning that there are two atoms of nitrogen and they're connected together via a triple bond. And even though gaseous nitrogen is so abundant in the atmosphere, unfortunately, it is unusable to many living things. And this therefore brings us to the first process of the nitrogen cycle, nitrogen fixation. And it is through nitrogen fixation that the unusable nitrogen in, in its elemental form is fixed into usable forms like ammonium compounds. How is this achieved? Nitrogen fixation is achieved by the action of nitrogen fixing bacteria like rhizobium found in leguminous plant roots or free living cyanobacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into other nitrogenous compounds. Now, another cool way how nitrogen can be fixed occurs during lightning. And during lightning, the strong triple bond between the diatomic nitrogen is ruptured into individual nitrogen atoms. Now, these atoms of nitrogen can combine with oxygen to form nitrates or other nitrogenous compounds which can dissolve in rain and washed into the soil. Now industrially, nitrogen combines with hydrogen gas under high temperature and pressure to form ammonia which can be used to make fertilizers. Let's talk about how living organisms can use these nitrogenous compounds. Now, the ammonium compounds formed during nitrogen fixation can be oxidized to nitrites and then to nitrates. And this is achieved during nitrification. Similarly to nitrogen fixation, nitrification is aided by bacteria. What type of bacteria? Nitrifying bacteria like the nitrosomonas and the nitrobacter. Now, the nitrosomonas convert ammonia to nitrites. Let's demonstrate that. Ammonium ion, NH4 plus, is combined with oxygen, O2, to form nitrites, NO2. Water. Again, Nitrification enables nitrites to be converted into nitrates, and this is achieved by the nitrobacter bacteria. Let's demonstrate this. So this 2NO2 plus oxygen will give us NO3 minus nitrates now once nitrification is achieved the nitrates can be incorporated into plant tissues and we call this process assimilation right and once nitrogen is incorporated into plant tissues then guess what the herbivores or the omnivores in the food chains can consume plant tissues and also assimilate nitrogen. 
Now, what happens if these plants and animals die? The process of decomposition will begin. And decomposition is the breakdown of dead organic matter into inorganic forms. So decomposition will transform organic nitrogen into inorganic forms. And during the breakdown of dead organic matter, we can also have the process of ammonification, which is the production of ammonia from other nitrogenous compounds. Lastly, there is denitrification. And denitrification enables nitrates to be converted to nitrogen gas. How is this achieved? Again, by the action of bacteria. There is the reduction of nitrates to nitrogen gas. Now, what is the common thing that you're noticing about these processes in the nitrogen cycle? That's right. Majority of the processes are achieved by the action of microorganisms like bacteria. That means these organisms play an integral role in the functioning of the nitrogen cycle. Yes, nitrogen fixing bacteria allow nitrogen gas to be fixed into ammonium compounds. Nitrifying bacteria allow these ammonium compounds to be converted to nitrates. Denitrifying bacteria transforms the nitrates back to nitrogen gas. Decomposition enables the breakdown of dead organic matter into inorganic forms. Microorganisms allow nitrogen to enter and leave the nitrogen cycle. In addition, there are other processes that enable nitrogen to enter the ecosystem. For example, eutrophication, which is the introduction of nitrates, nitrates from agricultural runoffs. As a result of this, there will be an, an increase in plant growth, especially in the aquatic ecosystem. All right, guys, high yield nitrogen cycle strategy for your examination. Remember, you need to know the important processes of the cycle. You need to know how to draw the nitrogen cycle, indicating the arrows for the different states of nitrogen during these processes. And lastly, you must be able to elaborate on the role of microorganisms in the nitrogen cycle. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck on your examination. Subscribe to the channel below and share with your peers. By the way, there's a cool quiz on our website. Go ahead and check it out. Bye.